Today I'm going to show you how I clean my Instant Pot. Hi everyone, it's Olga from Olga's Flavor Factory and I absolutely love my Instant Pot. I've been using it for years and it's still one of my favorite kitchen appliances. I've shared with you guys many recipes of the things that I make in the Instant Pot as well as a comprehensive introductory video to the Instant Pot if you're new to it and want to find out how it works, how to use it and get the most out of it. So if you're interested in those, I'll leave links in the description below. One of the things that I like about the Instant Pot is that it's relatively easy to clean. I have not deep cleaned this Instant Pot in months. This is what it looks like most of the time. Little spots here and there, some normal wear and tear, but of course, like any small appliance, there's crevices and things that get stuck in the little nooks and crannies, so we're gonna get those nice and shiny today. Like I mentioned, I don't do a thorough deep cleaning every time that I use it. I just do it every few months or so, or whenever it needs it. After each use, I'll wash the inner chamber, I'll wash the lid and the ceiling ring, and all of those parts can go into the dishwasher. Now, I usually just wash it by hand, but you can put it in the dishwasher. So it's really easy, and most of the time, you don't need to put in a lot of elbow grease to clean it. It washes really easily. And if there's any splattering on the outside or anything like that, I'll just simply wipe it down. So first of all, we'll take off the lid. The ceiling ring is right inside. So I have multiple of these so that I can use different ceiling rings when I'm cooking something savory or something more neutral flavored. Like I don't want my rice pudding to have the flavor of garlic from the time I made chicken broth. And the ceiling ring does absorb odor, so that's why I like to have multiple ceiling rings. So you can either place this in your dishwasher or wash it by hand. And then I always take out this valve and wash that as well. And then you can wash all of these areas right here, this area, around here, and then I make sure to clean all, all the way around here as well. Usually this area doesn't get very dirty at all unless something overflows and you've got a mess on your hands. In that case, it does get dirty, but for the most part, this is very simple to clean off. This is the pressure relief valve. This thing goes up and down depending on whether the Instant Pot has come to pressure or not. So you can take that apart as well right here. Take off this rubber part, and then this will just come right out like that. And then when you reassemble it, just put it back in there like that. Top it with the rubber part. There you go. Anytime you use the Instant Pot, you need to put in the sealing ring, otherwise it won't come to pressure properly, and that's how you take it out when you put it in. And I do not store this together. When I store the Instant Pot, I put the sealing ring separately, so I store them away from the actual Instant Pot. And then the inner chamber is stainless steel. So this usually, like if I'm cooking oatmeal or something like that, all I do is scrape it out with a rubber spatula and it cleans it off very well. Then I just use a regular sponge or dish cloth with some dish soap and it comes off really easily. It's very easy to clean for the most part. And then a lot of times if you're just using water to cook something and you're not searing anything in there, it's very easy to clean with just a sponge and dish soap. If you're searing something in the Instant Pot, sauteing, cooking something in a sauce, then the bottom can get food stuck on there. So I'll definitely show you how to clean it if you get lots of things on the bottom of the Instant Pot or even the sides. So I'll show you that in a little while. You never wanna get water in the inside of the Instant Pot like this. Once you take out the inner chamber, you don't wanna get water in there. So all I do is take a wet cloth or a microfiber cloth 
and just wipe it down. And usually it doesn't get very dirty either because you're not cooking anything in there, you're not putting food in there, and things don't leak down. At least I've never had anything actually leak down and go down this way. For the most part, just wipe it down with a microfiber cloth and it, that's all you need to do. I also use a microfiber cloth on the outside of this and get it nice and clean and it does a great job of that. This part of the Instant Pot where the ceiling ring goes in, this um, is kind of narrow so it's hard to get a sponge in there. And this is where you can get food stock or if you're sauteing something and there's like oil splattering, this part can get kind of grimy. So I actually got this cleaner from the Instant Pot brand and this goes perfectly in there and it cleans it very well. So this is really great. Before I got this cleaner, I would use other things that did a really good job as well. So you could use like a bottle brush cleaner or something like that, like a, with a pipe cleaner on it. And I've also used regular paper towels or a little kitchen towel uh, and just get it damp and then get in there. You know, as long as it fits in there, it does a pretty good job too. So you can do whichever, um, whatever will fit in there. Now a toothbrush will not fit in here. So you can't use a toothbrush here, but you can use a toothbrush on like over here or over here on these spots where things can accumulate over time. So that works great too. So it's really easy. But like I said, all of this is very nitpicky and you don't have to do this very often at all. For the most part, I just clean this and the lid and the ceiling ring and the rest is very simple to upkeep. I have two microfiber cloths. This is just a regular one. This one has like these blue stripes that have more of an abrasive in there. So you can, you know, get in there if you need to clean something a little bit more thoroughly. And I'm gonna use just regular dish soap for cleaning. I've also used a multi-purpose cleaner, especially on the outside of the Instant Pot. You don't really need any harsh cleaners for this job. Let's talk about cleaning it when it gets really dirty and needs extra help. The cooking vessel, the pot itself of the Instant Pot, is removable and is what you use to cook everything. It's stainless steel, so you can clean it just as you would any stainless steel cookware. Let me show you how to clean it. If you sear something in there, cook something in the sauce, if food gets stuck on there, or if you don't clean it right away and things get burned on. To prevent that, try to remove the food that you're cooking as soon as possible. It will be really easy to wash it right away since the food hasn't dried out and hardened yet. A simple kitchen sponge, washcloth, scrub brush with hot water and dish soap will get the job done. Another way to prevent the pot from getting really dirty is to do this while you're cooking. This is something I do while cooking all the time, not only in the Instant Pot, but on the stove too. You're gonna add some liquid, just water, broth, or wine, while you're cooking to deglaze the pot. The liquid will help to remove all the things that are stuck to the pot and add more flavor to your food too. You can use a wooden spoon or a whisk to scrape down anything from the bottom and the sides of the pot. You can also do this after you're done cooking to clean the pot. Just add some water, turn on the saute function, and it will clean it very easily this way. If you're just cleaning it, adding some baking soda to the water will help get everything off even easier too. If for whatever reason you don't want to use this method, or if you've got some major burning on your pot, you can use a scouring pad. This one is my favorite, it works so well. I use it all the time for my stainless steel cookware. I also use some Barkeeper's Friend, the soft cleanser works really well for this. So scrub, 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 until you have everything removed and it's nice and clean again. And 
then follow up with washing it with some regular dish soap and rinsing it out. With just a little effort and scrubbing, your Instant Pot will be sparkling clean again. Well, that's it. We got this Instant Pot nice and clean and shiny again, besides a few normal little scratches that are there because we use this, it's a tool. It's not gonna be perfect like out of the box, but I think it looks pretty great. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I'll see you again next time.